In this video, I will show you how to make a DIY dry box. What you need for a DIY dry box is a airtight what uh, airtight container, right? As I've shown here, don't look for a container that is too big because then you will read a lot of uh, silica gel or this desiccant. The second thing is you need a silica gel, right? As you can see, and finally a hygrometer. So all you need to do is to just uh, prepare your uh, airtight box. Put your camera into the box, right? Together with any lenses. The next thing you, that you do is to put the hygrometer inside. The hygrometer will help you to monitor the humidity inside the box and put your silica gel into the box, and that's about it, right? Now choose a trans uh, a box with a transparent window, either a transparent cover or the entire box is transparent. That way, you can monitor the humidity level in your DIY dry box and you will know when you need to rejuvenate your silica gel. If your box is a little bit too big, what you can do is to use a plastic bag that is tight tightly and to use it to displace the air inside the DIY dry box. The last tip is to have extra silica gel and keep the extra silica gel inside a bottle and seal it and put it together with your DIY dry box. When your humidity starts to creep up, all you need to do is just to open that bottle and just uh, utilize the extra uh, silica gel to continue to absorb moisture from your dry box. This way, you can control the humidity level in your dry box and you can maintain that humidity at that level for a much longer time between rejuvenating your silica gel. And remember to rejuvenate your silica gel in an oven or a microwave uh, when the silica gel indicator turns colors in orange indicating silica gel the color will turn from orange to a greenish tint and that's how you make a diy dry box and to control the humidity in your dry box and if you have any questions please add the comments below this video